Barkha, just give us the significance of that. Person of the match, BJP opening its account in the Kashmir area. Uh, how important is that in the, in the history of Kashmir uh, elections? Pranoy, I think it completely changes the politics of Jammu and Kashmir as we've understood it. And if, if Hina does win her seat, which she now sounds very confident of winning, and by the way, the counting center is right behind me. That's where she was speaking to Rajiv, and she's very upbeat. Uh, I think that it, it, it actually changes a lot of calculations. Shekhar spoke about the emergence of new leaders in the valley, but that's only one part of the story. I think, as Swapan says, it would also give the region of Jammu a bigger say in the politics of Jammu and Kashmir that, that, than has has traditionally been the case that could also by the way while it's a tectonic shift and a reason for the BJP to celebrate cause some amount of anxiety and heartburn here uh, in the valley people would immediately worry whether the BJP would pursue some of their stated positions uh, on Jammu and Kashmir like uh, the BJP is very clear for example uh, that it will never take lift the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. It's, it has a stated position on 370. Uh, it has a stated position on Jammu and Kashmir having its own flag and constitution. So while the BJP is celebrating, this will change politics as we know it. It will give the region of Jammu a much larger say. And it could in the long run, while good news for the BJP, also cause some unease, a greater unease uh, between the two regions in a state where the valleys parties have traditionally dominated. Right, right. Uh, it's very interesting what Barkha is saying, but I think if the present trends continue, and that's the yes. big caveat, you know, yes, let's yes, be honest yes, about yes. it, and the BJP emerges as the single largest party, and it quite because contrary to initial expectations, the PDP is not going to sweep the valley, right. and there's going to be a divided mandate in the valley itself. So by the default, the BJP becomes the single largest party, and therefore if there is a government which is, includes the BJP at the helm. It, ha, it will be a chief minister from the Jammu region. Now that itself means a big shift. It will be the first time since independence that that is going to happen. Actually, no, uh, you had a chief minister from the Jammu region earlier. Gulam Nabi Azad. Well, if the BJP, if the B, what you're trying to say is it may be a Hindu chief minister. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I, I frankly, there's been a lot of discussion of this in recent weeks. I don't think this will be as big an issue exactly. in Kashmir as people well, imagine. I, I, I think the po important what, uh, point is that a Hindu chief minister on a shared term. Yeah. What Swapan is suggesting. Let's is get uh, uh, Mr. So's reaction on that. Uh, you're an old hand of the of, of elections and uh, Congress in uh, Kashmir. A Hindu chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir, tectonic shift. Is it possible? What will the reaction be? Mr. Soz? You see, the, um, uh, this is understandable. It is a, you see, technically anybody can be uh, uh, chief minister. But uh, I have a situation in mind that Modi ji's uh, uh, campaign has ultimately done damage uh, to the integrity of the state. You will see a situation in future that the kind of polarization organized by RSS is not, uh, you see, going to serve uh, uh, a political purpose. Obviously, the purpose. people don't agree uh, with you. I don't say philosophically. I say practical, in practical terms, it is detrimental to the, uh, the concept of integrity of the state. Having said that, anybody is welcome to be chief minister. Numbers will decide, parties will decide. And, uh, but now is a situation, it is impossible for BJP to form the government. By this afternoon, you will see a situation that it has to be a secular coalition here. And Congress will be a determining factor to shape that coalition. This trend, this trend will be stabilized in the afternoon. Initial trends are no indication of majority for any party. But perhaps uh, your predecessor now said something correctly. PDP will do better, but it will not wipe out Congress and National Conference in the valley. You will see the numbers and you will then decide that PDP will do better, but it will not be at the total cost of Congress and National Conference. So, and Congress will remain the stadial. We are in three, all the three regions, and we have good position. It's a vibrant situation now, but afternoon will be uh, a celebration for Congress. Its position will remain as a determining factor, 
to shape a secular coalition. Right, right. That is my point. I think Barkha has got a... Barkha? He's talking about an NC Congress. No, I, I just wanted to make the point, Pranoy, that if the BJP emerges as the single largest party when all the votes are counted, but most all of its seats are from Jammu and it doesn't open its account in the valley, we have to wait to see what happens, then... I'm a little apprehensive about the messaging because for the BJP, it is it is still a tectonic shift. The BJP becomes a participant in the power play, maybe even a partner in government. But then you're pointing to the BJP regarded as uh, leaning towards the Hindu right, taking Jammu and the valley parties in the Muslim majority areas taking the valley. And I think that that's a bit worrying. So I would say the tectonic shift would really be if the BJP emerges with some presence in the valley and that it doesn't derive all of its victory right. from the Jammu region alone. Right. And that... I mean, uh, Hina Bhatt, it's early rounds, it could change, you can, you can never tell. I but, mean, but, but it's very interesting. What Mr. Soos, in effect, is saying in no, that no case there is going the to be a secular, no grand secular coalition. In the state. And perforce, that secular coalition does, will not include Jammu. Because that's the nature of the mandate. So we are in a bizarre situation. Where if you keep saying, I've got an exclusive take on secularism, you're not really going to actually solve anything. I think the mandate is such that this is, despite whatever they've said pre-election, a lot of political parties will have to walk an extra step or two to try and make those adjustments, yeah, keeping in mind what the nature of the mandate in the entire state has been. I think the only hang one, on, hang on, the last three governments haven't excluded Jammu. No. Uh, and this time no, it will be a different partner from Jammu replacing... No, no, I'm saying that's what Mr. S the implication of Mr. Mm. Soza's... No, but the only way Soza's formula can work, Mr. Soza's formula, is if the Congress gets at least gets 10 or more seats and one of its putative partners in the valley, uh, PDP or NC, gets about uh, 35. As of now, the Congress may well hit 10. But uh, it looks difficult for, uh, based, on, based on this projection, for PDP or NC to hit No, but he is saying that look, coalition. we are going to uh, make the BJP the juju man in, in <laughs> Jammu no, and Kashmir no, to and have a grand coalition which includes NC, uh, PDP well, that's, and uh, that's the implication of what he said. Shekhar? Well, I think so. That's what he's trying to say, but... Uh, it's an unlikely combination. Yes, sure, yeah. It's, yeah, so it's, it's a buy. very unlikely combination but because it's not as if BJP is not going to be doing any politics in the, in the meanwhile. Uh, and I think, look, India's politics has changed. I, th I, I think BJP is seen much less as an untouchable uh, by many regional parties uh, than it was in the past. Uh, in fact, it's the Congress which has done very poorly in terms of reaching out to regional parties. It's the Congress that broke up with NC. It's a Congress that did not back Omar Abdullah uh, adequately. So, so, uh, so I don't think it's a, it's, a, it's a political situation or equation that you can judge in old-fashioned terms anymore. Shikhar, right. for the first time that a religious element is coming into a party coalition or lack of it. I mean, the, when the Congress is broken, it's just mismanagement, can't yeah. get along with look, that. This is a completely different look, situation you know, a occurring for the first just, time. You know, a secular, non-secular coalition has been tried in the past. How did Mufti Muhammad Sayyid become Home Minister of India? Correct. He became Home Minister of India in a, in a secular government supported by the BJP and left from outside yeah. to keep the dynasty out of power. Yeah. Let's, just, right? so, let's bring so in Chandan Mitra here. Let's find excuses. Uh, Chandan Mitra, uh, good to have you uh, with us, back with us. Uh, how do you see the Kashmir Jammu and Kashmir situation unfolding now because the BJP, in fact, is doing extremely well. It's again had a surge here. It's doing as well as it did in the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, matching that and a major gain in um, uh, compared to the 2008 Vidhan Sabha elections. Of course, 95, 99% of that is in uh, Jammu, may make an inroad in uh, Kashmir, but that is a very narrow uh, margin at the moment, it keeps changing hands. How will this unfold? Well, let's see. I think uh, I would uh, wait till the afternoon, till making any kind of prediction about government formation, because things are changing and shifting a bit. Yes. Uh, BJP obviously is not in a position to form a government on its own, but then nobody else is in a position. I right. think that is the case that you know. Uh, otherwise, probably all all That's other non-BJP parties so will, will have come together. I mean, do you see? Sorry? 
How, so how, that's exactly the point that none of them are going to, no party is going to be a majority on its own. Probably have a majority party in the Kashmir area and a majority party in the Jammu area. Are they going to get together? It's, it's a complex situation. Yeah. Well, that is not such a bad thing, I feel. Although Barkha was saying something else. But I do feel that it's not such a bad thing. Jammu and Kashmir have two kind of dominant representative parties and they can come together and uh, govern very well. I think that really um, people of Jammu would expect their aspirations to be reflected through a party that is in coalition with a party that is the dominant party of Kashmir. Um, I think that will be a very new experiment, but I would not kind of rule it out nor kind of dismiss it or be uh, cynical about it at this stage. But early days, uh, right. Pranoy, I think we need to wait till the afternoon. Early days, you're sounding more and more like Dora, but uh, <laughs> his early days until 99% of the results are in. But uh, uh, Barkha, you have a question for Samir Kaul. Uh, it's, it's just a fascinating situation right now. It, it is absolutely fascinating and you know it could be anybody's government. What is clear is that it's going to be a coalition government and uh, what I wanted to ask Samir was to pick up on S Swapan's point uh, that this secularism cannot be the prerogative of only a few parties. Secularism ka theka saraf kuch parties nahi le sakti. But Samir, one of the very interesting statements from Omar Abdullah yesterday was to say that if the BJP does not open its account in the valley, it means secularism has won. Are you then implying that the, all the people of Jammu are communal? No, I wouldn't say that. You know, if Barkha, you will know it more than um, uh, lots of others that Jammu Kashmir has a, it's a pluralistic state. You have the Bodhas in, in Ladakh and the, and the Shias, you have the Dogras and the other communities in the Jammu division and you have the Valley Muslims. They have for a long, long time, apart from a few instances where things didn't work out, most of the time, right from the Maharaja's time and even before that, things have worked out just fine. But, and there's never but, been but, major but, but, communal but, 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 stuff. But Samir, but Samir, I remember but Samir, I remember you called the BJP outsiders. On my show, you said the BJP were like foreigners. They were outsiders. They had to be stopped. Today, you're saying you're open to being in government with them. All I'm saying is that just wait for a little bit. You might be preempting um, a little bit when you uh, and, and being a little little bit presumptive early in the morning. I think as the day progresses, we'll be in a better position to to, to discuss this a little bit more later in the call, afternoon when more and more BGP information for, starts coming. Do you still call the BJP outsiders? Do you still call the BJP outsiders? Well, well, it, well, well it. I would in the sense that they're, they're still continue, they still continue, this is a new party to the real politic of Jammu and Kashmir state and we haven't yet learned to take them as seriously. Time may dictate that but I don't know. So at the moment I would continue to say that they are newer entrants and whatever is new is, is a bit foreign to that part, isn't it?